Blue Mountains Matter. What's up guys, uh, it's Tanner with Trout's Fly Vision. We're back for Five Flies to get you through the rest of November. Apologize for kind of the short delay. Some of us were on vacation, so we weren't able to get this out as, as quickly as we would like for you. Um, but with that said, there's still plenty of time in November left left for you to fish. November in Colorado is a really cool month. Um, we still have a ton of ton of freestone options. Those flows are coming down. Um, we're still gonna have 60 degree days mixed in there. Plenty of options on those, so don't forget places like the Arkansas, the Colorado, Roaring Fork, that list kind of goes on and on. Also, we're gonna see those tailwaters get into those winter conditions. Those fish are gonna start stacking up. You know, midges, small, small midges, light tippet, betis, kind of that challenging winter nip game is gonna come into play. So with that said, here, here's five flies that are gonna get you through November. Or should I say November. My first two flies that get me through November are gonna be streamers. A lot of people around here tend to forget that those those brown trout are going to be just as aggressive that post spawn as they were that pre spawn. Um, they wasted all that energy, exerted all that energy. They're going to be looking to pack calories on. Um, and if you if you go out to those free stones and you're seeking fish, you know, covering ground, you're going to find some surprises. And it's a really good time, you know, in those lower flows to get down to some of those deeper pools on the Colorado, the Arkansas, places like Browns Canyon, Byers Canyon, stuff like that. So don't let the cold weather get you off the free stones. Keep hitting those this fall and the rest of this November, the rest of December, even into January if it's warm enough. Number one is gonna be the Circus Peanut. Um, comes in all kinds of colors. I really like this tan color. It's kind of my loud streamer. I, I usually like to do something super loud um, or a little quieter. Um, that's why you'll see the next fly. It's gonna be kind of the quiet one. This is gonna make some noise. It's gonna trigger those fish in a, a lot of aggressive ways. You'll get some great follows. You'll see some great takes through, through November on this fly. So stick with the streamer game, guys. Lots of payoffs still to come. Number two is gonna be Blue Mountain Coors Lights. But really, um, number two for me is gonna be the Peanut Envy. If you've been in the shop and you hear me talk about streamers, you know this is by far my favorite streamer. I don't really care what color it is in. You could give me it in yellow, you could give me it in white, you could give me it in black, you could do this brown. Um, they also make a sweet tan one. This fly flat out gets it done. The skinny profile is gonna be kind of that quieter quieter variation of those loud streamers like the circus peanut, um, something that's going to profile really well in the water and really really trigger some of those fish that are chasing the bigger streamers if you're doing those winter floats or walk away in some of those bigger rivers. This will trigger a lot of those fish to commit on the days where you get falls on just about any other stream. Here. My last three flies that get me through November are going to be those small betas and midges. Like we mentioned earlier, um, winter, winter conditions are going to be on those tailwaters. That means low flow, super light tippet, Really small bugs, whether you're at the frying pan, the blue, Deckers, Dreamstream, places like that. Be prepared with the small bugs and the light tipping. My first uh, small bug that's gonna get me through the month of November and even into December is gonna be the Juju Mage. Fishing in red, black, chartreuse. I really like it in sizes 18 to 22. Got a little flash in there. Gonna cover kind of all your bases that way. And, and trust me, it's a go-to if you're fishing anywhere on the South Platte. I have a ton of success on it, just about any tailwater. So fish that Juju Mage through November. Second smaller fly for the month of November is going to be the Biota Merger. Really love that pattern. Great betas to merger. I mean, what else can you really say? There's not a lot to say. Fish betas this time of the year, they're going to be prevalent. Midges and betas are going to be the two main sources. Have lots of options. I really love this pattern. My size 18 to 20. Has a little flash, but it's pretty basic. Sometimes those fish really like the plain colors, especially when you're fishing those more technical um, fisheries with the lower flows. Wrap it up with the number five. Number three for the small bugs, and number five for overall for November is gonna be so standard. It's gonna be back to the RS2. You need to fish that thing this time of the year. It's small size, so I'm talking 20 to 24. Especially if you're fishing deckers, which a lot of you guys do along the front range. Really anywhere along the south line. That needs to be on your rig through November, through the rest of winter. Have them in small sizes, put the 18s away, start thinking 20s to 24s, and you'll definitely catch plenty of fish on that light tippet. And that is five flies to get you through November. The rest of November. The rest of November. Now I'm, I'm gonna drink my beer. All right guys, that wraps it up for Five Flies to get you through uh, November. The rest of November, should I say. Well, we appreciate you guys always swinging by the shop. As always, you can find us online, troutsflyfishing.com. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Man, trouts, put trouts anywhere. Just, just hang out with us. We look forward to seeing you guys through the holiday season and have fun on the water this winter.